Now to TikTok under fire. The Biden administration is demanding the Chinese owners sell the video sharing app or face a possible U.S. ban. Senior White House correspondent Mary Bruce is in Washington with more. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Michael. Well, this certainly marks a major escalation. The Biden administration warning TikTok that it could be banned in the U.S. if its Chinese parent company doesn't sell its stake in the U.S. app. The White House has been growing increasingly concerned about the security of America's data on the wildly popular app. The fear is that the Chinese could impact what videos Americans see to try and gain political influence or even spy. Now, the U.S. has been trying to negotiate an agreement with TikTok for two years now, but this is the first time we've learned of the threat of an outright ban. In response, TikTok says that a forced sale doesn't solve the problem. They say that a change in ownership would not impose any new restrictions. They insist they are already taking steps to address security concerns. George. Mary Bruce, thanks. Let me start by addressing a few misconceptions about ByteDance, of which we are a subsidiary. ByteDance is not owned or controlled by the Chinese government. It's a private company. 60% of the company is owned by global institutional investors. 20% is owned by the founder, and 20% owned by employees around the world. ByteDance has five board members. Three of them are American. Now, TikTok itself is not available in mainland China. We're headquartered in Los Angeles and in Singapore, and we have 7,000 employees in the U.S. today. Still, we have heard important concerns about the potential for unwanted foreign access to U.S. data and potential manipulation of the TikTok U.S. ecosystem. Our approach has never been to dismiss or trivialize any of these concerns. We have addressed them with real action. Now, that's what we've been doing for the last two years, building what amounts to a firewall that seals off protected U.S. user data from unauthorized foreign access. The bottom line is this. American data stored on American soil by an American company overseen by American personnel. We call this initiative Project Texas. That's where Oracle is headquartered. Today, US TikTok data is stored by default in Oracle servers. Only vetted personnel operating in a new company called TikTok US Data Security can control access to this data. Now, additionally, we have plans for this company to report to an independent American board with strong security credentials. Did anyone at ByteDance directly provide input, help, or instruction for your testimony today? Congressman, this is a very high-profile hearing. My phone is full of well wishes, That's, you know, but I prepared for this hearing with my team here in D.C. Are the attorneys representing TikTok also representing ByteDance? Yes, I believe so. What percentage of TikTok revenue does ByteDance retain? Just give me a ballpark estimate if you don't precisely know. Uh, Congressman, like, like I said, uh, as a private company, we are not prepared to disclose our financials in public today. Prior to today's hearing, did anyone affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party discuss this hearing with you or anyone else on TikTok senior management? Uh, Congressman, since I've been CEO of this company, I've not had any discussions with Chinese government officials. So what... But, but what about the Chinese Communist Party itself? Have any of those officials discussed this with you? Like I said, I have not had any discussion with Chinese government officials. I don't know the political affiliation of everybody I speak to, so I can't verify the statement. How does TikTok, rather, how do you convince uh, the Congress of the United States that there can be a clean break? Uh, why would the Chinese government sidestep uh, their uh, national law, including Article 7, Article 10, um, uh, in terms of user data? Congressman, th thank you for the question. I'm glad you asked this. As I said in the opening statement, our plan is to move American data to be stored on American soil. But the Chinese government has that data. How, how can you promise that, uh, that that will move into, uh, into the United States of America and be protected here? Uh, Congressman, I have seen no evidence that the Chinese government has access to that data. They have never asked us. We have not provided. I find that actually preposterous. I, I have uh, I, I, looked I, I, in. I, I really have seen don't. no evidence of this happening. Mm -hmm. And in order to assure everybody here and all our users, 
our commitment is to move the data in, into the United States to be stored on American soil by an American company, overseen by American personnel. So the risk will be similar to any government going to an American company asking for data. 